And now for your weekly dose of metal. Here are your hosts, Morgan Danielle and Luco Blaze on the Metal Experience. We just heard the sixth extinction by Opatia, and thy crown is my monarch by Arcadia. I am Luca Blaze, Morgan Danielle. We are missing the chin hair of knowledge tonight. He is off doing big, stupid, dummy stuff. And uh, tonight we have with us, for the first time, Nephilim. I want you guys to go ahead and introduce yourselves and what you're doing the band and who's missing tonight. Hello. Hello. I'm Jeff. I play guitar. Uh, Minus, I'm also I'm the, the vocalist. I'm the <laughs> band mother. Oh, band mother. That's yeah. a new one. Yeah. I haven't gotten that answer. Okay. Make, we'll make sure elaborate a little bit more. Does everything that they need to do. And oh, Linus on, on vocals. <laughs> <laughs> and then who's missing tonight? Uh, we're missing Tom, who drums. plays drums, and John, who plays bass, and Danny is the other guitar player. And they're bastards for not making it. <laughs> they are. Not really. I love you guys if you're <laughs> listening. So Tom has actually been on the show with his previous band a couple of times. Ramora. Yeah. And then he moved to California. And, and now he's back in the Chicagoland area, which is so weird. California. I thought it was Vegas. Oh, Vegas, California. Vegas, they're yeah. all I over. I didn't know he moved anywhere. They're over there. <laughs> he know. left Ramora originally, I thought, because he was moving to Vegas to find a job. And then he, I guess, moved back. And So funny story. Ta- he delivered us pizza once and then slammed a beer and then left. <laughs> and you didn't hear that here. It sounds like Tom. It was yeah. awesome. It's like, yeah. Tom, <laughs> what are you doing? It's like, I'm delivering your pizza. <laughs> like, Sweet. We and asked for him to deliver a second time, remember? I think that's maybe, dude, he was flying. He was What's flying. up, dude? And uh, very cool. Very cool. So Tom is not with us tonight. He's better have a good excuse. That I was super stoked to see Tom. He does not seen. have a good experience. <laughs> he does actually. not. No? <laughs> no. He joined a, a pool league, right? Like a billiard league. Oh, I thought you meant for like swimming. Pool. Yeah. yeah. And he's, it's tonight? I think so. Yeah, every Tuesday. He's got to <laughs> play pool. It was very random. Give up it's your like billiards. <laughs> Come billiards. be a metal, metalhead. You're funny. Promote well, your band. Tell Tom, Tom we said hello. And we miss him. We haven't seen him in quite a while. But enough of Tom. Fuck that guy. Let's talk about you guys. Uh, so Jeff and Linus. Jeff, I'm sorry, band mother and Linus. So how did you guys... You, give me the beginning of the band. How did you guys all form? How did you all meet and uh, to where you are today? Well, it's a couple of years ago. Oh, way back when. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I met Linus on Craigslist, actually. Um, and I think we kind of just hit it off with influences and what we wanted to do uh both of us are pretty new to the chicago area um where are you guys from i'm from sweden originally nice but i think two three years ago i moved here to chicago from indianapolis so how did you're born and raised in sweden Mm -hmm. and you're just like well i'm going to indianapolis the colts are a great football organization (laughs) i want to witness them play football i don't don't think i knew about indianapolis (laughs) I Your plane just landed there. You weren't that. supposed to be there. How did I get here? <laughs> <laughs> so you said about... It's been a terrible mistake. Yeah. <laughs> fields and fields of cord. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I packed up like a good Swede and just went to America, <laughs> you know. And for, for what? In search of... I actually met my wife. Oh, very Europe, cool. And uh, we decided to... The US. Very cool. Very cool. Well, now we got you here and we're keeping you. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it all started with a girl. <laughs> it always does. <laughs> and Jeff, you said you're not from the Chicagoland area? I'm from California originally. Um, from there, I moved to Florida. Um, all of high school and college is in Florida. Uh, then I met my wife. Um, from Colorado. Hi, wife's here. Hey, yeah, she's going. Hello, wife. <laughs> Hello, and, wife. Uh, and then uh, we Wait, both. Wait, you said in Colorado? In Colorado, yep. So I moved from Florida. So to warm Colorado. weather to warm weather to Colorado. Yep. Okay. 
Yeah. Still a good place. And then, uh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's legal weed. Yeah. So. <laughs> yep. Yeah, sweet place. And then um, we both got jobs in Chicago and moved to Chicago. Very cool. A couple cool. years ago. Very cool. Craigslist ad, you were into the metals, the metals music. Yeah. Linus answered. And so then how do you meet the rest of the guys in the band? Um, well, we immediately started writing and collaborating. I think both of us had some recording experience, so it was pretty easy to bounce ideas back and forth. Um, and then I think before we even got the rest of the guys, we had pretty much the full album written. Um, and then well, we just like went through a few members, trying people out. Um, then had so you guys are the originals. We the are original right. two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, we had Alex play guitar from Active Destruction for a while, and then mm-hmm. he had to leave recently. He for, played in Remora also. Yeah, he played in Remora also. He was in Remora. Mm-hmm. He was probably yeah. toward the end of them. Alex Baju. Yeah. yeah. Basically, very, we're very half Remora. <laughs> well, we're and then and then Alex had to leave and. Um, yeah, met Tom through Alex. Mm-hmm. And Tom was also in Remora. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very cool, very cool. Yeah. And then how did you meet Danny? Um, so Alex quit, and I think that was kind of a, it was a strange moment because we were like, how are we going to find somebody to play like Alex? Yeah. And then uh, found Danny on Craigslist, literally okay. the first person we hit up. He showed up a week later, knew six songs. Wow. Jeez. And... Uh, we decided that was a sign from Satan to continue. <laughs> <laughs> You're the guy. <laughs> well, you guys brought a bunch of music. Why don't we go ahead and introduce everyone to Nephilim. Nephilim, I'm pronouncing that correct. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, what did you guys bring tonight? Uh, we brought our debut album. Uh, the album's called Discipline. Uh, ten tracks. Um, came out what, the first week, second week in December. Yep. So pretty, pretty new. Brand spanking new. Yep. Brand new. Brand new. And uh, what? Where do you guys record this? Uh, we all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For the most part, ourselves, I think. Um, yeah. Well, so Frederick Vidix uh, from Marduk recorded the drums. Wait. What? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Um, yeah. Yeah. This was before we met Tom. I think we decided. Early on, no matter what, we were going to release a full-length album. So we had plans in place to make sure that happened before even creating a live band, basically. Um, but, yeah. Uh, so then the rest of it, yeah, we so, recorded yeah, ourselves. Yeah, so the drums were recorded, actually, in Friedrich Wiedig's studio in Stockholm. So we basically awesome. sent him the taps and like the, uh, the demo songs. Yeah. And he recorded all the drums. Sign over everything to us. Then we started laying the guitars. So Jeff recorded his guitars at his place. Um, John recorded a lot of the bass, just the bass DIs at his yeah. place. I recorded some of the bass. Uh, we reamped it all ourselves. You recorded all the vocals. Yeah, we did the vocals in the practice space. You did all the mixing yourself. Yeah, yeah, um, and then mix it, mix it at home. Uh, very, very yeah. awesome. Yeah. Well, why don't we go ahead and play, uh, why don't we just go in order? What, why don't we play the first track off of the Discipline CD? What's the first track called? Uh, first track is Lord of Fear. Lord of Fear by Nephilim. Let's do it. Cause the angels out with the ass ripper. Where do you be from? 
is the metal experience and now back to Morgan and Luco. We are back. I am Morgan Danielle with Luco Blaze we're without the chin hair of knowledge we're sadly. Short. But we are still wah, here with Nephilim wah, and we just heard wah. the first track off of their newer release, right? Because you released this last year. Last uh, year. What? Yeah, um, well, I get technically I mean, last it's year. still <laughs> new, right? Uh, a month yeah, ago, first week month in December. Ago. See, there you go, Lord mm-hmm. of Fear. Awesome, awesome, that powerful opening track. Was badass. Uh, Thank you, Linus. What was that about? What'd it's you? Uh, it's about the revelation. Satan. <laughs> <laughs> I should have guessed. <laughs> <laughs> what else would it be about? <laughs> very awesome. Very awesome. <laughs> Bad. It's just about the end of the world, pretty much. That's right? what all songs yeah. are about, by the way. You don't have to ask again. <laughs> all I the songs. I had no idea are when Insync was world. singing to me back Satan. when I was a kid. I had no idea it was about <laughs> revelation of Satan and the end of the world. <laughs> I should tell my mother. <laughs> <laughs> what? Should you? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yes, yes, you should. It'd be a very interesting conversation. <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, that track was fucking awesome. Oh, that was so good. <laughs> so you. the dude from Marduk is playing drums on that. How do you guys get hooked up with that dude? Uh, I'm from the same city in Sweden as the bass player in Marduk. Okay. And uh, he has a studio there uh, that I've used a couple times with uh, some bands I was in. Some really. previous bands? Yeah. Very cool. So I got to know him and then stayed in touch with him. And I just knew about Kasti. Fredrik joined uh, Marduk, I think, a couple years ago before they recorded their, their latest album, uh, From Schwein. Uh, so I asked if, you know, if he did session work. Yeah. He does. So. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Very, very prof- professional guy. Very good to work with. The really drumming. good drummer. Yeah. Phenomenal <laughs> drummer, <laughs> obviously. The, the <laughs> drumming sounds killer. The recording sounds killer. For you guys doing it, for the most part, DIY sounds fucking awesome. Thank you. And yeah. then Tom can live up to that drum playing. Yeah, Tom's yeah. very good. Tom's a monster. Tom's a beast He's too. He's a very, very good drummer. Oh my goodness. <sighs> I, I'm not, you know. What was the feedback from him after doing your your session work of what he thought your music was? 
he called it tech death. Yeah. <laughs> I think we've got that response a lot, which yeah. is pretty strange to me. <laughs> what does it mean to him? Uh, he said it, he said it was difficult. Yeah. <laughs> really? I think yeah. well, we we had uh, I mean. we had pro we had, like written all the drums out ourselves um, through like a MIDI program. <laughs> so I think a lot of our fills were impossible. Maybe that's why <laughs> he know, meant tech because, because, because not, you yeah, did yeah, it with technology yeah. instead yeah. of yeah. person. Right. <laughs> right. Um, right. So yeah, I think when didn't when he first got it, he was like, yeah, I can play like ninety. <laughs> percent of this and I'm going to change the rest of it to make sense and we we're like yes <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> very cool very cool well you know what listen I want to hear another one uh, that was fucking yeah. sweet uh, let's do it let's, let's play the next track uh, I'm I'm, staying over, I'm sitting over here with a raging heart on so what's the next track the next track is join us or die join <laughs> us or die I cannot wait let's let's play it Savagery, and you listen to the Metal Experience. Woo! 
Oh my goodness, that was fucking titties. It was Nephilim. I am Luke Blaze, Morgan Danielle, and we are the Metal Experience. And that was a track called Join Us or Die off of the Discipline CD. And that was fucking sweet again. And where can everyone find uh, everything that is Nephilim and download the CD and all that good stuff? Uh, the album is on our Bandcamp page, which is just Nephilim Chicago. How do you spell that for listeners? Uh, ooh, spelling bee. Ooh. <laughs> N-E-P-H-I-L-I-M. I'm glad I brought you. <laughs> can I go now? <laughs> You may leave. <laughs> um, but yeah, ne- nephilimchicago.bandcamp.com, I think. Maybe. Is that how it is? Um, it? Yeah, yeah. I think, I think it's think Nephilim so. Chicago. Nephilim Chicago, all one. Very, very yeah. cool. And you guys busted out some sweet yes, shirts. Thank you for these. These thank are you, sick. Thank you, by the way. Oh, these are badass. My and mom's going to love the dangling heads. <laughs> she always <laughs> does. She always does. <laughs> Put that in there for flair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so who did the artwork on these uh, shirts? So Morgan, describe what we're looking at real quick well, for the listener. Well, it looks like... What does it look like, Morgan? This brutal battle that is happening. A man on a horse has... He's not a man. Uh, a, <laughs> I don't want to say... Is it a Viking? Uh, no? It's, it's no? Like, a, like a zombie demon. Okay, zombie demon man. That's with, a good one. Zombie demon. Yeah. Um, I like it. A... A bone sword. Where you are doing terrible. So this zombie <laughs> demon, <laughs> crusader, total badass. I would fucking fight next to this guy because he's a <laughs> badass. Is riding in on this horse and on his fucking his sword. Bone sword. His bone sword. He's got the skulls of about five people he slayed. <laughs> it's sweet, and his horse is like half dead also, and be. Behind him and next to him are his hordes of the dead soldiers he's got. And then his horse is just <laughs> blasting some dude in the face. <laughs> oh, man, that dude's fucked. His eyeballs are all going cockeyed because he got, he got fucking horse kicked in the face. But, yeah, this is sweet. Who did the artwork for this? Um, Roberto Torrico from Italy. He does uh, Sinisters, if you're familiar with the band Sinister. Morgan? Um, I've heard of him, yeah. And a Sphinx? A Sphinx. If I'm saying that right? A Sphinx? A Sphinx, Sphinx. maybe? Sphinx. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, but he does their, their artwork. Um, he did both our merch design and the album cover. So the album cover, since I don't have it in front of me, what does the album cover look like? The album cover is based off of our title track. Is it on the super, uh, Information Superhighway? Yes, I'll show it yeah. to you. Yes. No. On <laughs> the Sweet. intro web? It is. The interweb. The interwebs. Um, but uh, the title track is about a witch. Ooh. So it, it's kind of like witchcraft theme. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. And you said he's from Italy. And how do you guys find that guy? Through the interweb. Yeah. Through the interweb. <laughs> it's like, hey, um, your yeah, artwork is sick. Really just a lot of research and hitting up a lot of yeah. people, a lot of different people. And... Um, he's very professional and easy to work with. And very talented. Very talented. Yeah. <laughs> so let me see that. Let me see that again. So the cover of the CD. So it's the witch. She's walking down. She's got some sacrifices, it looks like, on these podiums. Yeah. What, what's going on here? Uh, Wait, did I? So first off, did I get a, was that a good description of the Yeah, no, that song, that song is about the Crusades. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah? You, perf- the description uh, yeah, is perfect. Yeah, thank you. Nailed it? You Better than yes. we could have done. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. Very cool. And then the CD artwork looks fucking sweet, too. This guy did a badass job um, for you guys. And the music goes along perfectly with the artwork. Thank very you. cool. Very cool. And so how did you guys come up with the name Nephilim? Um, you had it from the beginning. Linus did. Um, I think so, yeah. Just yeah. like, we should just call the band Nephilim. Yeah. And that's it. <laughs> I thought it was a really badass thing. What is uh, Nephilim? Well, supposedly they are the offspring of angels and men. When angels intercourse with men, yeah. and they, they become uh, Nephilim? They become Nephilims. They're usually which are like giants. giants and would like wreak havoc and do um, terrible things. Awesome. Yeah. Pretty brutal. <laughs> but they, 
they're not around anymore. They, Fuck. They yeah. died out like yeah. the mammoths. Like the mammoths. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. Oh, I'm never going to meet one. Sorry. Well, he'd probably, probably murder me. Unless you so. get an angel. And bang the shit out of it. What? Yeah. It could be a dude. <laughs> I'm not sure about their reproduction. Uh, yeah, I don't know about their... <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> what was a chick angel and bang the shit out of it? <laughs> hey! Oh, my goodness. <laughs> 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 Very awesome. Well, we got a ton of music tonight to play. What's another track? We want to just keep going in order for these? Yeah. Okay. Sure. What's the uh, third track you guys uh, we're going to play tonight? Ooh, this is like a test. It's like a Do test. you know your own Do track Do you know listing? your own music? Uh, it's Harvest Mills, right? Yeah, it's Harvest Mills. Harvest Mills. Morgan, is that answer correct? Um, yes. Correct. You are correct. Yeah. Harvest Mills. Otherwise, you just skip. To yeah, Harvest you just. Yeah. <laughs> of course, I would. Yeah, but it, it's yeah, right. your CD. Uh, yeah, it's Harvest Mills. <laughs> Very cool. All right. Well, Nephilim, Harvest Mills. Let's do it.
Hey, this is Pete. Tanner. Zach. Matt. And we're Bloodletter, and you're listening to The Metal Experience. And we are back. I am Morgan Danielle with Luco Blaze and more music we just played from Nephilim. We are sitting here with the guys still. Rocking we just out. rocked out to another track, and that was called Harvest Mills. And that was also badass. So the artwork that you had done for the, uh, the CD and the shirt, they were from songs, you were saying, right? You just sent him the lyrics and right. you kind of... Yep. Right. Now, for the, the cover, you said it was... Was it from a song or was it you guys would gave him this idea and then elaborate a little bit on that? Is is from the song, from the title track. Okay. Um, the titular track. Yes. Yeah. Titular. <laughs> Tit- very titular. <laughs> Whoa, Jason, get out of here, guy. <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh <laughs> So the, what is Discipline, the titular track, which we will we'll play. So we won't get into that. What is, we won't get into that yet. All right. What is Harvest Mills about? It's, uh, it's about a mutant alien invasion. <laughs> nice. And, Pretty uh, brutal. <laughs> it's about these guys. They're like the last, the very last. There's no other one left, and they're just fighting to death, basically. Uh, it. Alien versus it's, uh, Predator? It's kind of Terminator like, right? Like machine yeah, yeah. oriented. It's, 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 no, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Very yeah. cool. Well, that was very another. High-tech. Except John Connor dies. <laughs> <laughs> that was very badass, very metal. Oh, my goodness. So, when you guys were in like California and Florida and Sweden, what were your metal scenes like out there? What influenced you to get into your own local scenes? Um, I didn't get into metal until Florida, which Flor- is oh, Florida. <laughs> it's hard not to get into metal. Yeah, in Florida, for death right? metal. <laughs> um, like, when you think Florida, you think Floridian folk music. Yeah, <laughs> Floridian folk music. <laughs> Brutal. Brutal. <laughs> Beaches, um, bikinis, and metal. And yeah. death metal. <laughs> metal. Yep. <laughs> Um, Wait, so tech how did, death. How did you tech get into metal in Florida with all the ninety-year-old people walking around? Uh, actually, so my my start of like really getting into playing in bands, um, I met uh, the bass player from Death off of Sound of Perseverance. Very cool on Craigslist, and um, we kind of started this like progressive power metal sort of band he was like a huge fan of uh like prog power sort of thing so he had posted the ad on craigslist uh yeah yeah we kind of like yeah and he unfortunately passed away i think last year yeah uh, which is very sad but um so yeah uh i didn't even know who death was i think upon like finding yeah and then just really got into death. Um, so then you were playing guitar way before this? Yeah. What were your influences before? Uh, Metallica. Next Metallica. question. <laughs> that's, um, no, that's, that's yeah! legit. Yeah. <laughs> that's legit as fuck. Give me food, give me fire, give me jab, jab, jab. <laughs> so, <laughs> so when did you start playing guitar? Um, my sophomore year of high school. I okay. started taking lessons uh, immediately with my cousin, actually. We took, like, a group lesson thing, and um, she just, I don't think she liked it very much, and I just stuck with it and continued lessons, and uh, my dad listened to a lot of hard rock, uh, a lot of, like, Godsmack, Disturbed, stuff like that, and so just from there, got progressively heavier, I guess, as... We tend to do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Metalheads. Very cool. And then from Florida, how long have you been in the Chicagoland area? Just a couple years. Um, 
uh, after things kind of fell apart with my like first band in Florida, I joined a really good death metal band called Abdomen Canvas, and um, I had a lot of influence from them. A lot of like my writing style. In between Florida, there was Colorado, correct? Yeah. Okay, sorry, I didn't mean to skip that. In between Florida, there was Colorado. Mm -hmm. Did you do any metals? Metals in Colorado? Yeah, actually, much lighter stuff. Uh, I played in a metalcore band, um, and then I played in um, kind of a lighter, I don't want to say radio metal, um, but they're still going. They're called Never Break, and they're really, really good. Um, uh, great writing. Um, so, yeah, I've been all over the place with my metal influence, I guess. And then when you came to Chicago, you're like, I need something fucking brutal. <laughs> Just like the weather outside. Uh, yeah, I think I, I really love all kinds of metal, and so I was just looking for something good. Um, and then this guy had a... When I found him on Craigslist, he had uh, an album he had released. Basically, you'd done everything yourself, and it was like a black metal um, project called Palace of the Damned. Mm -hmm. yep. And... Um, I knew the me immediately the vocals were amazing and that we should create something awesome. <laughs> right. Very cool. Well, you know what? When we come back in, Linus, and we're going to play another track. We're going to come back in, Linus. You're going to give me the whole Sweden to Chicago story and the whole metals background. So what's the, right next, on. what's the next track on the uh, Discipline CD? Oh, as they look at each other, they stare each other down, <laughs> and they can picture it's, it in their uh, eyeballs. It's brave. It's yeah. The brave. The brave. The brave. It was beautiful, you guys. <laughs> All right. This is Nephilim. The brave.
Hi, I'm Brandon. Hey, I'm Ben. We're from Snow Burial, and you're listening to The Metal Experience. All right, we are back. That was another Nephilim track. I am Luke Blaze with Morgan Danielle, and that was The Brave. What was that bad boy about? Suicide. Perfect. <laughs> I like your, your one-word <laughs> answers. It's like perfect Satan. for... <laughs> suicide. Satan and suicide. Machines. You know, lay it out there. Crusade. <laughs> Technology. <laughs> Let's lay it out We're there hanging on your every you word. Tell us more, Linus. Okay. Tell us yeah, more. Well, Linus, now I want the whole background story of who Linus is, all the way from Sweden, now in the Chicagoland area, and then the whole metals background. How did you get from there to here? As the smooth jazz goes on behind right, you. Right, so, right, yeah. right, right. so, yes, I'm from Sweden. Um,. I get in, I think I get into metal through hard rock. What hard rock band? ACDC. ACDC, Guns good stuff. Roses. Good stuff. Yeah, good stuff. Um, but then Metallica came with Black Album, and uh, it was like this shift, right, from Guns N' Roses to Metallica. I don't. Did you have the same thing? Uh, <laughs> I think everyone had the same thing. Yeah, everyone had. Yeah. Oh, we Metall- know what you're talking about. Metallica was <laughs> Metallica was the gateway drug. Yeah, and then yeah. then once you s- uh, absorbed all of Metallica, it was always yeah, it trying was, to find uh, heavier and faster right. bands. So it was from Metallica to Sepultura. It was like a yeah. you know natural step, right? <laughs> Arise beneath the remains. Oh, Chaos yeah. Man. You're talking my you're talking my Good my stuff. lingo. Good stuff. <laughs> uh, then In Flames came. They were a pretty big oh deal in Sweden, God. you know. I love um, them. And the whole Gothenburg scene. My favorite. Dark one of them. Yeah, it's just a lot of metal in Sweden and what's the, Norway what's the, and Finland. What's the metal scene out in Sweden compared to... Have you only been to Chicago? You moved you're from Sweden. You're like Chicago. Li- you yeah. lived in Deep Indianapolis, pizza, remember? Yeah. yeah. Mafia. I lived in D.C. Uh, Al Capone, Michael Jordan. Yeah, I lived in D.C. for a year. Okay. And then Indianapolis, two years. Three years. Very cool. What's the different metal scenes? That, have you noticed any... The difference? Um, there's a lot more live shows here. A lot more live shows? Yeah. I mean, I remember when, when me and Jeff started working together, we wanted to go out and see like what bands are around Chicago, how's the metal scene like. and We went to shows almost every week. Yeah, there's one like every day, yeah. it seems. They're popping Chicago up more and more. Chicago is great for going to see live music. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of venues. There's a lot of people yeah. that throw them even at their house. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't yeah. matter where it's metal. suburbs I mean, or it's just city. just a lot of live music. Mm-hmm. We just stumble upon things. Like, I remember one time we were bar hopping, and there was some reggae band. Yeah. It's like, well, let's pop in here and check out yeah. this reggae band. <laughs> just <laughs> hung out there for a while. Um, but you're... You, you're really close to Reggie's too. So we go to a lot of yeah. shows at Reggie's, yeah. and and we will be at Reggie's. Yeah, Monday. Um, our friends in Beyond Death and Bloodletter are playing a show, and they're playing with this band from Italy called Methodros. They're a thrash like band, I guess. First time maybe tour in the states, but nice. we're gonna check them out. Starts at nine p.m. Twenty one and up. Monday. Yeah, eight dollars in advance if you go online. We're through the band and ten dollars at the door. So and Reggie's is fucking sweet. You live it's right probably there. Probably one of the best right venues I think in Chicago. Yeah, I live on Fifteenth Street. Um, Reggie's is twentieth, I think. And is it Fort Fort Knox? Not too. Fort really. Knox would be a North cross West. town. Like oh, okay. North. Yeah. yeah. This is South Side. Very cool. All right. Well, yeah, Reggie's. I, I'm a little disappointed they took out that little head shop in the front. That was always my favorite. That went away probably before they were here. The record store is on like the second floor. Mm -hmm. So in between where you went from the restaurant to the venue, there used to be a walk-through way, like where that glass cabinet is. They used to have a bunch of like things for sale, like pins and patches and stuff. And they sold shirts shirts on the walls and they had the poster flags on the wall. Yeah, Mm -hmm. they took that away. I guess it wasn't doing as well. It was a lot of sweet misfit stuff there. You did. But anyway. no longer there. Aren't your headphones misfits? They are. Yeah. I got these for seven It's bucks. a bit of an obsession, <laughs> as you can tell. So in the Chicago area, being in Nephilim, um, how many shows have you played? 
Only one. Only one. And where was this one epic show? That was at Star Bar in Oak Lawn. Okay. Yeah. Is it still called called Star Bar? Yeah. Okay. So it yeah. you played at Star Bar. When was that? Uh, last Friday? That was the Friday before? Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th. Oh, wow. yeah. So brand new. You yeah. guys just played your first, first show. show. Mm-hmm. And you guys have another show coming up. Uh, where's that at? February 3rd. Uh... A week from Friday. Next Saturday, yeah. Yeah. Um, at Redline Tap in Uptown, I believe. Okay. Nice. Yeah. And who are you guys playing with? Oh shoot. <laughs> Jeff, I told you to know this <laughs> stuff. <laughs> well, you know what? Give me well, twenty minutes. I'll yeah. pull out my phone. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, I'm not sure. I, actually, I don't think the lineup is completely set yet. Who did you guys play with at Star Bar while Morgan looks it up for you? You played. Morgan? I have it. All right. Whenever you're ready. Heist of the century. Okay. Um, it says you're playing at Star Bar. Oh, this was it. Never mind. Misanthropy maybe is the other band. Um, Leary and Drought. Yeah, Leary and Drought. Territory. Was the territory Social dropped Q. off. It was half of that bill dropped off. It was kind of strange. Weird. For the last um, show? For the last show. Yeah, that's yeah. the only one that it has. Think, um, the only bands that ended up playing was Leary and Drought and Heist of the Century. So it was a three. Three bands. Three bands. Yeah. And you guys probably, how, how'd it go? It was good. I thought it was good. Yeah, it was fun. The first live we, show. We had a good time good. and that's all that matters, right? Fuck yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. It was metal as fuck. Yeah. So the next show, February 3rd, Morgan, you looked it up? I'm not finding it. Come on, Morgan. I've, I've tried. I'm even wah, on Redline's wah. site. Where is this posted? Where is it posted, Jeff? Jeff, Morgan wants to know where it's posted. Uh, it's at Redline. Tap? Red a line week from tap. Friday? A week uh, from Friday. Uh, I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we'll play a song by you guys while we figure all of that stuff out. The next song off Discipline is called what? Ooh. I can't pronounce this second word. You're going to have to help me. It's Janissary w- Assassin. <laughs> Ro- Rogue Janissary? So this is about is Jedi? Yeah. No. Wait. What is it? Rogue, Rogue Janissary. Janissary. What is a... What is a what is that? It's about an assassin in the night. Nice. Assassin in dude. the night. Slaying the Sultan. Nice, dude. All right, let's do it. Like a snake, why? Throw the open into him. 
Are back. I'm Morgan Daniel with Luco Blaze, and we are still chilling with Nephilim. And we just heard Rogue Janissary. She got it. Woo! Yay! Oh, uh, and those about assassins in the night. Assassins in the night. Perfect. Perfect. So, Morgan, you pulled up the show. I did. I finally found it. Um, Redline Tap's Facebook page took forever. <laughs> you guys are playing with Myth Misanthropy and Minds oh, Horizon. Right, mm. Yeah, that's happening at. And you said Minds Horizon? Minds Horizon. I guess they're like oh, a they rock solid command, a modern metal style band. Wait, who said that? The page that has the event information. They said that it? about themselves? About Minds Horizon. What did they say about Nephilim? Come together by fusing a rock solid command. Oh, for Nephilim? Uh, Fuses the unique vocal sound of Swedish black metal with the speed and technicality of American death and thrash metal. That's a pretty good explanation. Yeah. I like that. Cool. Yeah. Like oh, cool. man. Jason, my guy. Here it is. Whoa, where are you going with those? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look up. Um, so it's 8 p.m. Doors, $7 to yeah. see you guys next Saturday, February 3rd. It's a 21 and up show. Cool. Luco, you it's Saturday or Friday? That venue. It's a Saturday. It's a Saturday? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Makes it easier. Terrible oh, wait, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. It's a Friday. Okay. It says Friday. I was like, wait a minute. That was my bad. I thought no the third worries. was a... What? Is it really? I could have sworn that the third was a fucking Saturday. Jesus. Yeah. I guess it is. Wow, I'm Jason's stupid. pouring kitty cocktails for everyone. Woo-woo. What a bartender. Party what a guy. Time. What a guy. He just shaved his beard. Let's point out how weird he looks without his beard. I think he looks beautiful. He does look beautiful. Thanks, man. Like a beautiful eight-year-old. So what's the hey, favorite? Where's, my cherry? where's the cherries? You didn't bring any cherries? What the oh, they're all on the oh bottom. All, we got to dig for them. You have to, you have to I count cannot them. believe it. <laughs> He's all the way. He came in all the way from Sweden for this. Look at the oh, service. Yeah, man. Jason, wow. you're the man. You're the man. Dude. Jason, right. just so the listeners know, Jason is picking cherries <laughs> out of the bottom of this pitcher of uh, Shirley Temple's. You're the man. And the man <laughs> gets cocktails. the stem thrown at him. Oh, my gosh, Always. Luko. What is the your man. favorite Nephilim oh. track that you guys have, have written? It could be individually Woo. or to play live. What, what do you like? Ooh. Thanks, dude. I'll let you go first. I like the next song after this one. I know who you are. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like it. Um, my favorite. Many to choose from. Yeah. <laughs> There's so um, many I really like the title track a lot. Uh, I like Discipline a lot. Um, that mm. one came together really fast. It, I think within like two days, 
we had written that song from nothing, had vocals completely done for it, had lyrics completely done for it. So yeah, I think that, that, that it was like a very yeah. natural, very easy. Because <laughs> sometimes, like Join Us or Die, for instance, we had like 10 different versions of that song. What? And, it, and it took us like months to yeah. finish. But then you have, you know, a nice one come along and it's yeah. simple. That's how it is, I guess. You know, yeah. you, get, you get stuck on something and you work on it for a long time and then some other songs, they just come together. You overthink it sometimes. So then what's really the writing process you guys go through? Is it always guitar first or you got vocal ideas and then... Almost uh, always guitar first, I yeah. think. Um, we write riffs. Um, we tap them down. Linus plays guitar as well. Um, so he'll, he'll tab out riffs. Um, and then I'll, I'll tab out. Everything is done. We like pre-program everything that we do. Um, then switch stuff around a lot. Uh, record scratch tracks for everything. Um, and then he'll come back and be a pain in the ass and say, hey, you should do this instead. And then I have to change everything. <laughs> <laughs> the truth comes out. <laughs> No. <laughs> um, no, I think this is... It will never end. Yeah, I think this is kind of what yeah, that's the we process, have to do. Um, Sending stuff back seems and to forth. Be, seems to be intro. working. Yeah. Because everything sounds super tight, super solid, metal as fuck. And then, so, Linus, you uh, were in... Jeff heard you were in a band, heard the music from a band you were in before that you did everything yourself. Mm-hmm. What was this band Well, called? I didn't do everything myself. Oh, but the truth comes out. Yeah. <laughs> you told me everything. Well, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Liar. <laughs> so what was that? It was, uh, it's an EP, five-song EP. Okay. That I did with a really good friend and a drummer from Sweden. His name is Gustav Landbecker. Um, we grew up together, listened to metal. So we've all, we played in several metal bands together, and then... You know, I moved abroad and we stay in touch. And because of the intraweb, we can compose and record an album so this without some, even seeing each other. So this is something you guys did <laughs> yeah. from o- overseas. Right, right. Very cool, yeah. very cool. So he recorded drums over there, sent, sent it over to me. I recorded guitars, bass, vocals at my house. And then... And what was the, the name of that band? Palace of the Damned. Palace of the Damned. Where can everyone find? Is is that still up on the uh, internet? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's in iTunes. iTunes. Yeah. Do you have a Spotify? Facebook page? Uh, we don't. An unmanaged one. Oh, we do. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Thank you for letting everybody know. <laughs> so then, how did you Wait, find? Wait, no, it's here. I'm pretty sure this is it. Did you record this back in 2014? Yeah. Yeah, it's up. You have a Facebook page. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> you have some artwork. You guys have a yeah, video. Yeah, artwork for the CD or for the EP. So D is for Drill is a song by you, right? That's mm-hmm. it. Oh, well, it's here. It's <laughs> really solid. You should check it out. I for want sure. to. I'm going to. So That's then how exciting. did you hear? You just heard this from the Craigslist ad, and he was like, oh, I'm in this. I think Jeff has put out an ad looking for musicians, and I was... I was also looking for, um, I wanted to just do vocals, actually. You, you had sent yeah. me, so he had actually, he had sent me a new, it's essentially the beginning of Join Us or Die. You written and recorded that riff, yeah. and you had vocals over it, and right. sent it to me. Right. And, uh, and, and then you were like, by the way, I also have this, if you want to check it out. Yeah. This is Palace of the Dam. You can find us on Spotify and, and iTunes. Um, and yeah, the riff was really good. We used it <laughs> in one of our songs, and just. And then Linus, what made you want to do vocals? Then, if you were playing bass and guitar, and you're like, you know what, I just want to do vocals as my main. What made you just want to um, scream into the mic? I mean, it is the coolest thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> Singing in a death metal band. Uh, yeah. I mean, when I listen to metal, <laughs> that's one of my favorite things. You know, it's the vocals. It's the vocals. Mm-hmm. What got you into? that style of vocals to be like, I want to do that. Um, <clears throat> I think from the beginning, it was just lack of finding a good vocalist. So I'm like, fuck it. I'm just going to do it. Myself. Just do it myself. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Was and there then any- you're like, Oh, I'm pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> was there anyone that you kind of 
wanted to sound like or anyone you kind of got ideas from that mm. this is kind of the style I want to do it in? Um, yeah. There's, I really like the, um, the vocalist in Dimme Borge. I think nice. he's a really cool voice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're supposedly um, working on a new album, too. They just released some... Uh, yeah, some like press yeah. stuff today, I think. Oh, really? I saw yeah. it, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm check it out. That should be interesting. Um, Peter Takirian, the, uh, <clears throat> the frontman for Hypocrisy. Very cool. Yeah. He's amazing. I mean, his voice is just Both very huge heavy. Fans <laughs> of At the Gates as well. Yeah. At the Gates is a huge influence. Yeah, I would say that. Yeah, definitely. And then, Jeff, what got you into this style of. Was there any guitarist that you were like. That's kind of because you earlier you said you were into you know a little different metals, but what if what of this genre guitarist wise got you into guitar this style? Uh, well, after I started branching into death metal, um, with my uh, when I joined my Florida band, Abdomen Canvas, uh, they the guitar player is a good friend of mine, started showing me all sorts of stuff, and um, you know, faceless through the eyes of the dead. Um, nice. Black you know, Dahlia. I you know, think a lot of people of people listen to us and say, "Oh, you guys sound like Black Dahlia." Um, so I think everybody in the band has a huge Black Dahlia influence. Um, yeah. Silosis is one, like one of my top favorite bands of all time. I think uh, I get a lot of influence from them. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. All over the place, I guess. He doesn't know he's all over the place. Well, with that being said, why don't we fucking rock out to another Nephilim track? We're going to keep on going on. You guys are up for the test. What's after Rogue Janis- Janissary on the CD? Uh, next song is I Know Who You Are. You guys, Is he correct? He is. Correct, sir. Right. Pretty, getting pretty good at this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, we this know is our own track list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know who you are by Nephilim off of the discipline for my blood. Kill me, I'm never human delicacy. Should there be a crime? This is some 
We are Knipson and I am Michael Brigham. I am Bill House. Andy Martin. Cody Juke. And you're listening to The Metal Experience. All right, all right, all right. We just heard another Nephilim track. That was I Know Who You Are. I am Luke Blaze with Morgan Danielle. And that was another badass track. What is I Know Who You Are about? <laughs> they both look uh, at each other. Yeah. Um, it's about... Jeff, did you write this one? No. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> but I know what it's about. Okay. <laughs> um, it's about a cannibal that... Uh, gets paranoid that somebody is poisoning themselves, the person that he's eating. What? And uh, then it turns out that he thinks it's him that's poisoning the meat that he's eating, and then he mutilates himself. That shit's deep. Is, is that... <laughs> yes. Is that... Uh, this is graphic. Yeah, it's, it's like an overly... Very graphic. I mean, it's, it's up to interpretation, obviously. <laughs> obviously a very, very sick man. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I did interpretation, a good job. But Cannibal who gets paranoid that this flesh sits... The flesh it sounds like the a flesh story that, that my mom eating. used to read me before I went to sleep. What? No. What? <laughs> <laughs> no. It sounds like a story say, I've heard before, though. I was going to say, that's the most metal mommy ever. <laughs> and then he <laughs> ate the flesh. <laughs> but he thought it was poisoned. Oh, my God. <laughs> that would have been a lot cooler, because I would have been like, your mom is the shit. <laughs> now, I, I don't know. I, don't, I probably don't like her anymore, actually, now. What? Okay. Back to Nephilim. Um, okay. So upcoming in this year, where do you guys um, hope that you'll be at playing show-wise or recording another album? What are your goals? Um, yeah, getting shows. Uh, we, we're, we're a full band, finally. Very solid lineup, I think. And uh, just looking for shows. Um, we have tons of material written. I think we're like right now going back through a bunch of old stuff, mm -hmm. uh, reworking mm -hmm. a lot of it, um, seeing what we can add. Um, but yeah, I think for sure we will record another album this year, mm -hmm. yeah. full length again. Yeah. I don't think we'll do EP stuff. Um, yeah. yeah. I think that's pretty <laughs> so I guess that's it. We're in the process of writing and... Trying to play as many shows as possible. Yeah. Sweet. Well, you guys sound fucking sweet, and I can't wait to see the live stuff. And I know Opatia is down to get some shows. Oh, the big band's going. Ooh. Ooh. Just oh, got my. jazzy. We just got real jazzy. That shit's jazz. <laughs> well, we got uh, the unsigned band pick of the week. We do. We yeah. got a we got a twofer. All right. So let's get that shit started, Morgan. Now it's time for... Hey man, look what I found! Only on the Metal Experience. Oh my goodness. All right, this week we have, and I'm super excited for, Torture Gore Grinder, all the way from Bangladesh. We got a two for for you tonight. We've got Internal Ball Putrefaction. Woo! And we got this one, I'm going to butcher, Rock Tech 2 Shoe Chagger. And in parentheses, Bloody Washroom. That does not sound like fun, but it sounds super metal. So, and you can also read Sean's review on our website for their, their, uh, their new album that came out January 5th. The album, Fatal Gonorrhea Disfigurement. That is metal. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> super metal. All right, well, let's do this. Internal ball putrefaction and Bloody Washroom. Let's just go with the English version, Bloody Washroom.
I expect that type of language at Denny's, but not here. Well, that's too freaking bad. You hear me? Because we're throwing it back to Morgan and Luco on the Metal Experience. <sighs> that was metal as fuck. That was torture, gore grinder, all the way from Bangladesh. We heard a twofer off of their album, Fatal Gonorrhea Disfigurement. That was internal ball putrefaction. And, all right, I'm going to try to pronounce this again. I think it's a different language, so I'm <laughs> not going to pronounce it correctly. Uh, Rock Tech 2? Uh-huh. Chagger. Sure. Nailed we'll it. We'll go with that. Nailed it. And then parentheses, don't forget, guys, Bloody Washroom. Yeah. Uh, and then also, again, check out Sean's review on TheMetalExperience.com for their album, Under Fatal. the reviews from the Crypt section. From their album, Fatal Gonorrhea Disfigurement, which was released this year, January 5th. Yeah, so they, they actually messaged me and they were telling me how they're pioneers in their country for doing this type of music. That there's not a lot of bands like them doing what they're doing. So the fact that they were able to record as well as they I did. and We've never had a submission from no, Bangladesh we've never yet. So that's had a Bangladesh, first. So that's a Thanks, first. guys. Very that was cool. awesome. Really, very cool. Metal as fuck. Yeah. Well, we are the Metal Experience. We are kicking it back here with nef- Nephilim. I got it. Kitty I had to- Cocktail kicking in. Kitty Cocktail's <laughs> kicking in. I'm getting a little loopy. Oh, my goodness. And uh, we've got a ton more music to play. What's the next track off of the Discipline CD? You just said it. Oh, it's the titular dun, track. Dun, dun. The titular track. All right. What is Discipline about? And this was the one you had the cover for, correct, for the CD? Yep. Yeah. Yep. It's about a uh, it's about a witch that lures people in with a she looks beautiful on the outside and then gets people into her dungeon and tortures them, murders them, does she, and rapes them. Does she torture gore grind them? I, uh, I, I can say I don't know yes, what that is. Yeah, I don't know. Perfect. Perhaps. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. This is Discipline (laughs) off of the Discipline CD, Nephilim.
We are back. I am Morgan Daniel. Luco plays once again. We are chilling with the guys in Nephilim, and we just heard another track off Discipline that was the titular, the titular track. track. Disciplined. Yeah. Wait, it's Boom. disciplined. Duh. Disciplined. With the D. With the, the past tense. Yep. You have been disciplined. Yep. Perfect. And do you the like elms. to be disciplined? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I do not. Are you sure? Positive. Because we can discipline. In real life, no, but in metal, yes. Absolutely. Awesome. Perfect. Mm. Morgan, take it away. So, I was going to ask you, when you guys were recording, did you have a whole storyline planned out for these songs to kind of go hand in hand with each other, or are they all like separate story ideas? Uh, it's completely separate. Yeah. Um, no concept at all. Uh, basically, it's all horror stories. I think every song is a different horror story to some extent. Um, there's, I don't know, it's funny because we, we record scratch tracks and then I send it to Linus and he puts basically scratch vocals, which are complete nonsense. <laughs> so, so uh, for Rogue Janissary, for example, you had like the chorus. Yeah. Um, and the, and the chorus made sense, and I was like, "Well, the chorus is real fucking cool. I like the the words. Um, just send me what you have for the rest of it." And he, and he sends it to me, and it's like, "Yeah, you're right. This makes no fucking sense <laughs> at all. <laughs> <laughs> Let's rewrite all of this." I told you I got stuck, <laughs> man. Um, but yeah, I think we we kind of come up with a vocal melody first, yeah. Um, then kind of a theme. Uh, then Linus writes, um, kind of a rough draft of the lyrics and kind of what he's going for, sends them to me. Then I rewrite some stuff. We bounce back and forth. Um, so, we, yeah, we kind of work collaboratively with both lyrics and guitar riffs, all the writing mm -hmm. pretty much. Yeah. that answer your question, Morgan? Yeah. No, that answered my question. To answer your first question, like we put together the songs in an order that we thought would sound pleasing. Know, that they flow very to well together. Yeah. But there's no theme. Right now, are there physical copies of the album available, or is it just online? We don't have that. We, we don't have physical copies. Only Bandcamp right now, but it's completely free. Um, yeah, I, we just want everyone to listen to it. Just get your hands on it, listen to it. And you said you guys were planning on getting physical copies of it? We are. Yeah, we're currently, uh, we're having the layout designed um the guy that did our artwork is uh kind of in process with that um he's very busy so uh hopefully in the next month or two we'll get the layout for uh i think we're gonna do digipacks and Ooh. we'll get some physical copies for shows and stuff digipacks what would be included in a digipack a CD. Yeah, just a CD. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. He gets all excited. Just and then be a why picture of me naked. Son. Yeah. All right. <laughs> no. Um, Jason, you like that Q-tip? Yeah. You're welcome, babe. <laughs> so what else you got? You guys got some shirts currently available, mm -hmm. um, and then some CDs coming up. Yeah, CDs yeah. coming up. Uh, yeah, digitally the album is available now. Um, you said on Bandcamp. Yeah, on Bandcamp. Bandcamp. Yep. Morgan, can you download that for me? I already have it. How do you think I've been playing the music? <laughs> I didn't think. I didn't think about that. Uh, can you burn that CD for me then? Thank yeah. you. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't we go ahead and play another track? What is the next track off of the Discipline CD? Oh, as they look at each other, oh, trick question. Stare In deep. Yeah. Stare In deep the into their eyes. Our no, it's not. it's not. It's not. It's not diamonds clear? and dynamite. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> Diamonds and dynamite. And dynamite. What is that bad boy about? Um, it's about war and the financing of war. Diamonds and dynamite. Mm -hmm. I like it. Sounds like someone watched Blood that. Diamond too many times. No. That is not <laughs> the same thing, <laughs> Morgan. I'm That's done. That's a good one. We're gonna. We're gonna. I get it. You're wrong. Play the song.
listening to the metal experience we've assembled a collection of bands who have drummers i do magic well, it's easy if you try dick now sit back and listen all right we just heard another nephilim track and that was diamonds and dynamite that has nothing to do with the movie blood diamond morgan and we are the metal experience rocking out here with nephilim luca blaze morgan danielle and Morgan's got questions. I do. So this is uh, just, you know, we're getting to know you guys as individuals. So, <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, Uh-oh. You don't want to know me. <laughs> obviously, it's going to be a little bit different because you guys have lived in different places. But what's your favorite food? Ooh. Oh, man. The head scratch comes out. Yeah. You don't know what you like to consume? <laughs> Whiskey what, is, and Coke. what does your wife yes. cook that you like? Uh, I'll have a scotch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I my don't. wife likes to cook scotch. <laughs> um, she makes yeah. reservations. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good ones. Dun, dun. Great <laughs> reservations. Um, uh, yeah, I like a good steak. You know, steak is it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> just all right. He's not a food uh, guy. Simple. Uh, like he's more I of am. A well, like right. Well, right <laughs> now I'm being very healthy. So, for lunch I had a quinoa bowl. A what? Quinoa. <laughs> you know, like no, like healthy grain. It's a you're seed, healthy. actually. That's yeah. what your eighth Jack and Coke. Well, this is the balance. <laughs> one must keep. Coke? No. 
<laughs> no. no. Silly. No. <laughs> and make it Diet Coke, please, because I'm watching my weight. <laughs> Not that serious. I want half diet, half regular. I'm trying to watch my figure. Um, no, I don't know. I'm all over the place with food. I love pizza rolls. Probably, and my wife... <laughs> <laughs> I do too. My wife pizza can rolls? attest to this. Yeah, she does love pizza she, rolls. Yeah. She can make these well. <laughs> <laughs> um, pizza rolls, yeah. They're probably the most consistent thing in my life right now, to be honest. Metal and pizza rolls. Metal <laughs> and pizza rolls. You know, in after, the night. after a long show, it's like two in the morning. You don't want to cook anything. You don't want to go out either. Pizza rolls. Pizza rolls. They're always there. They're comfort food. Yeah, I rent a red box movie. Watch about 20 minutes of it, realize how drunk I am, and fall asleep. And they're either ice cold pizza or rolls 8, all over your chest because you forgot you were eating. Pizza rolls everywhere, <laughs> you know. <laughs> like confetti. How do you let him go to bed with pizza rolls all over him? What's wrong with you? <laughs> she's, asleep. she's asleep and she's rolling on your dirty pizza rolls. <laughs> she's like, what the hell happened? <laughs> she wakes up with pizza rolls in her hair. <laughs> it's a war zone. <laughs> Linus, favorite food? I can't. <laughs> you can't breathe. I, uh, I got nothing. <laughs> you don't like food. I do. I do. Raw meat. Raw meat. So metal. <laughs> like <Yes>. tartare? <laughs> How can I top pizza roll? Pizza. <laughs> Raw meat. Raw meat. Do you have a favorite Swedish dish from back home that you haven't had in forever that that would be your go-to if you went back? I like Swedish hot dogs. Swedish hot dogs? Yeah. What, what's on a Swedish hot dog? Ketchup. That's, that's just a... Just ketchup? Mustard. Wow, they're so simple over there. That's Dude, my kind of place. What, what is that candy? I belong candy. in Sweden. What is that candy you let me try? It's like a black licorice dish or a disc covered in salt. And it's like what? a... What? It's a salty S. That's like a famous Swedish candy, right? Yeah. A salty what? It is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> when you think candy, you think sugar, not salt. Yeah, it's yeah. like a really salty black licorice disc. What? Yeah. Did the shape bother you? <laughs> I it, think the, it was not the shape. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh, I guess that would be my second favorite then: Swedish candies, Swedish, Swedish candies, candies, and Swedish hot dogs. Mm. So that's just a—is that just a regular hot dog with ketchup and mustard? Just like a gas station hot dog. Gas Those station. Are the best. <laughs> All right, but you've never been to a Swedish gas station. So. <laughs> Chicago people kill you for putting ketchup on there. I just put ketchup on my hot dog. That's how I eat them. They're so. I mean, I'm not from Chicago. This is just my experience. I, yeah. We won't kill yeah. you. Just you know, you just don't put ketchup on your. I mean, yeah, even if there's ketchup on it. there, whatever, you just eat it. It's all good. I don't know. It's not okay, right? They'll have to find me first. <laughs> <laughs> They'll have to find me first. I'll be hanging out eating my Swedish sweets. <laughs> Morgan? All right. So my next question is, do you believe in life outside of planet Earth? Do you believe in aliens? UFOs? Or other beings that are not of this of world? Of this planet. Uh, in deep. the entire universe. Are we alone? No. He says no, Morgan. Okay. No. Jeff. Jeff's up. Oh, man. On the spot. This is, she's never asked this one before. It caught me by surprise, too. Yeah. Man. Do you believe in UFOs? <laughs> uh, yeah, I would say that I believe there's something else. The universe is too big, right? Morgan, there's your answer. Universe was, is too was, big. Yeah. What's your answer, like, Morgan? Yeah. Um... I believe there's something else out there. I just don't know what. I think that there's another planet with, like, human being type. There I don't has know. to be, right? There has to be. There, like we're millions, in a galaxy where there's of stars so many. Yeah. Galaxy and there's tens and billions of galaxies. So. Yeah. There's stati statistically, unless we're special. <laughs> you know. No, I, <laughs> which I, I hear which you. we're not. <laughs> You're not special, Linus. All right. So, do you have a secret talent? And if you do, what is it? Oh, secret time, talents. Time to tell us. You're a really good drinker. <laughs> uh, thanks, yeah. Oh, man. Fast uh, and much, yes. Fast and much. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jeff, and I'm uh, three days sober. 
Uh, ooh, special talent. Like armpit farting? Can you? No. Oh. <laughs> Negative. Disappointment in his face. Just no. Yeah. No. I wish. Um, I'm a pretty good cook, actually. And you don't even know what your Wait. favorite food is? You make it pizza took you a while to hey, He told you, yes, right? Pizza yeah. rolls. You know, I, Leave I make them perfectly. <laughs> that crispy golden brown. Every Pretty time. But you have to let them cool off before you... Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. or Danger. Or you know, hot lava in your mouth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I'm really good at preheating the oven. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah you know? Uh, Spacing out my pizza rolls. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly spaced. <laughs> 1.34 inches. Uh, well, he's a really good cook. Linus, Still any thinking. special talents? Special or hidden talents. Linus is a good father. Aww. Aww. I am. I am. I have three daughters. What? That's pretty cool. So I'm good at making babies. <laughs> <laughs> so having three daughters, have you shown them the medal yet? Do, do they, they, they know Danny's yeah, in a they, band? Yeah, they do listen to metal. Yeah. And they dance. Yeah. They dance. <laughs> they, yeah, they headbang. They wildly. like baby metal. Have you shown them baby metal? Oh, no. <laughs> no. God, no. Baby metal's not You metal. insulted him with I, that. I, it's for little girls. Not my girls. Okay. Not his girls. <laughs> so you're showing him in flames, soil work. Yeah. All that stuff. Nogglefar, Morduk. Yeah. You know, Dark Funeral. Starting when they're young. Nephilim. Yeah. Nephilim. Of course. Of course. I like how I said those four bands. <laughs> it seems so natural, right? <laughs> All right. So the next question is, what is one unique thing that you're afraid of? Spiders. That's not unique. That's both. a common thing. That's a common thing. I'm also... Mm. Yeah, but really you kill them all ugly. the time, Luco. You could have fooled me. Spiders. I don't yeah, like them. I know. Me? I killed one in the shower. Yeah, Amanda has to kill them. My shower? Mm-hmm. I don't like them. What is it you don't like? They're scary. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Fair enough. <laughs> sharks. Oh, I don't like sharks. Sharks are fucking scary. Yeah, it's fucking scary, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> spiders. I don't know. Uh, well, I don't, Jeff Hanneman... Got bit by a brown recluse, he right? Died, he fucking right? died. He fucking died. <laughs> Spider bites. Spiders. And it took like what six months? Spiders are no good. It's like complications from a brown recluse. Re- What's re- it? That's uh, really a hard recluse? to say. Recluse. Recluse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. So they're scarier than you may think. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess your yeah fear is rational. Then. Yeah. Yeah. What was the question again? The unique thing that you're afraid of. That's not very unique. <laughs> <laughs> What's yours, you son of a bitch? <laughs> uh, hidden fears, hidden talents. Mm-hmm. Getting down to the bottom of this. What's yours, Morgan, while Linus thinks? What's your hidden fear, Morgan? It's not hidden, it's a phobia. It's flowers. <laughs> She's afraid of flowers. It's very weird. When we go grocery shopping. Are you allergic? No, she just thinks they're weird and like, gross. Like so we have to go around like the flower section in the grocery store. So I <laughs> always cut through the flower section to get her off my ass so I can grab some fucking pizzas or something. Rolls. Pizza rolls. Pizza rolls. <laughs> All right. And I've got to cut through the aisles and meet him on the other side going, why the fuck you leave me? Right by the flower. Because it's the goofiest thing ever. Who's fucking afraid of flowers? <laughs> Listen, bitch, you know I hate flowers. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Morgan, you weirdo. <laughs> what's when what's, did you realize this? Fear? When I was a child, fear? I've always had it. Like you can't remember I not mean, being afraid yeah, of flowers ever. I wow. can't. Wow. What was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> Hidden fear. Hidden fear. Hidden fear. <laughs> I mean, I don't like spiders. Maybe like pooping in my pants in public or something. <laughs> it's pretty scary. Yeah. <laughs> That's embarrassing. I mean, also, I don't want to poop in my pants in public. <laughs> you don't just keep like extra pants with you at all times. No, you should. I've, I've you always, should. I always like think like, all right, I probably have to hit up the bathroom. Yeah, me neither. Fucking drop the drawers and just go commando or something. I don't know. I just hope it, I never have to. I hope it never comes to that. It's a scary thought. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty terrified. Of <laughs> <laughs> so we still haven't heard Linus's. We're still waiting. I'm terrified of death. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's a pretty legitimate thing to be afraid think of. Think so, right? Yeah. Like, um, like death is a like a being with a scythe that's gonna like cut your head off, or just or just no, not like death. being alive the anymore. The dying, or like the after the dying. You like know, what happens? Deadness. Deadness. Well, nothing happens, mm-hmm. right? So it's it's kind of, you know, it's very final. Or how you're gonna die. Is yeah, also that's scary. Ooh, I'd rather not know. I think. I'd rather not. I'd rather not poop my pants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're All right. Die shitting yourself. <laughs> oh it doesn't matter because you're dead. <laughs> you, <know? laughs> you do. You have one more bowel movement when you die. Probably right. Yeah, that's all yeah. the gas. I hope I have your two more. <laughs> oh my god! Knowing you, I'll it would be like the five. worst <laughs> cleanup for whoever is working on your decomposing body. <laughs> Good. Gross. <laughs> well, with that, I think we should hear another Nephilim song. The have the chili um, and then die. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a perfect way to go into the next song, In the Clear. We all got rid of our fears, and so now we're going to be in the clear and hear another track off Discipline. Not if I shit in my pants, we won't. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Here's Niffle. I hope not.
Hey guys, we're coming to rest. Hey, what's up? We're coming to rest. <laughs> <laughs> we got a new album that's out right now. It's called Blacklist. Make sure to check it out. You are now listening to The Metal Experience. Bang! And we're back. I'm Morgan Danielle. Luke Goldblaze still here with Nephilim. And we were in the clear with that new track from the band off of their CD, Discipline. In the clear. And Morgan, you've got a couple two-tree announcements? I do. Just a couple today. So the first is we are interviewing Battlecross on Friday. What? We are going to be at Home Bar in Arlington Heights hanging out with the guys, doing a little video interview that we'll be posting on our YouTube page as soon as we can get it edited. So for all those that are going out to that Super Joint Ritual show with what opening as the locals and Child Bite and Battlecross, we will see you there. And then also happening is an upcoming tour. This would have been the Chin Hair of Knowledge's news. There's been this awesome tour that's been announced, but date's not yet. It's called Ooh. Devastation on the Nation Tour. And uh, the Kennedy Vale is playing some of the dates. Seeker, the Zenith Passage, they're going to be rotating dates. And then Rivers and Isle is on it. Uh, rotating dates also is Decrepit Birth. But the headliners is Cryptopsy. Nice. Yeah. So that's pretty awesome. I love I'm me some cryptopsy. hoping Rivers and Isle and the Kennedy Vale and Zenith Passage are all going to be on it when they come into Chicago. And we have an interview of Cryptopsy up on the MelExperience.com from we what? We do. Last summer? Uh, no, 2015. Two, th- two summers ago. Two summers ago. We were on their tour bus. It was awesome. It's pretty cool. Uh-huh. Uh, cool also... Uh, another show going on this week um, happening at Star Bar on Friday. So I had no idea um, until actually our friend Daniel Sun hit us up saying, hey, are you going to the Star Bar show? And I looked into it. Leo from Three Hour Catalyst is in a new band called Guardsman. And he is playing at Star Bar with Belladonna, um, Alternative Flow, Daylight Sinners, and it's called The Hell Freezes Over Show. And it's $10 and it starts at 6 p.m. And then, of course, on Monday, we're going to be at the Blood Letter show happening at Reggie's. The what? Blood Letter. They're playing with Beyond Death and that Italian band. That is... That Italian band. That Italian band that I probably butchered a few times. What? How did you butcher them? Oh, man. You know how you're going to have me pronounce it again? Uh, Yeah. (sighs) Method... Methodress. Methodress. That's all I'm saying. Luke, how do you pronounce it? That's all I know. Mythodrus. Mythodrus? There's no I. There's no I in there, Lies! Luke. That's the American way to do it. Luco, you played a show this past weekend. How'd that go? Where'd you play and who'd you play with? Um, uh, we played at Penny Road Pub. Uh-huh. I don't like when she puts me on the spot because I mm-hmm. wasn't playing I'm trying attention. to wake you up, sir. Um, wake up, wake up. Uh, we played with Opatia. Luke, hanging Thanks out Thanks for over coming there. out, Luke. Thanks for coming out. Bringing your girlfriend along with you? Indeed. That was pretty awesome. Dragging her around. <laughs> um, who's the opening band? Hold on. Uh, Inner Decay. Inner Decay. It was a lot was of fun. It. All three Penny of you guys Pub. played. Was and ca- Casket Robbery. Casket Robbery. They dropped, They dropped, sadly. unfortunately. Oh, it was supposed to be. I was looking forward Sadness. to Sadness. Fucking rocking out with mm-hmm. them, too. Um, yeah, it was a good time. Um I don't know. And then now we learned uh, really Luke is like selling tickets him. for <laughs> upcoming to go see Opatia open for Havoc and Ex Mortis. Is it Opatia or Depremacy? Oh, Depremacy. Sorry, Depremacy. <laughs> and they are going to be playing at Reggie's February 8th. So if you need tickets, hit up Depremacy from Chicago to drop you off some tickets. They're $13. We'll be there. So be a sweet show. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. We're going. Yeah, we'll meet you guys there. Fuck yeah. We'll meet you there if Luke brought our tickets. All right, he, he brought tickets. He's got them. He's Perfect. got it. They're shiny and We're new. We're good. They're <laughs> shiny and new. That's what matters. And then, of course, you guys have your show going on next Friday, happening at Redline Tap. Yeah. We're February hoping 3rd. to be out there. That's pretty sweet. And who are they playing with, Morgan? I don't have that here. I gave that to them. I was hoping they could who tell Who are you guys me. playing with? Misanthropy. Mine, mine's Horizon. Mm-hmm. Yes. Perfect. You nailed it. <laughs> 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 and where can everybody find Nephilim and your album right now and everything that you have? Is this merch also on 
available um, through your it interwebs. Will, it will be very soon. We'll put it on Bandcamp, I think. Um, awesome. But yeah, nephilimchicago.bandcamp.com. You can get our album completely free. Ooh. Um, Facebook is also facebook.com slash nephilimchicago. That's our bingo. Uh, I think those are pretty much the two main yeah. sites that we operate through. We have Reverb Nation, which is also, I think, Reverb Nation slash Nephilim Chicago. Um, SoundCloud, same thing. SoundCloud.com slash Nephilim Chicago. But yeah, Bandcamp and Facebook are the two main ones. Nice. Well, we have another brand new show being recorded next weekend. Next week, sorry. Tuesday, we have a twofer, which means two bands coming out. We're what? welcoming back Dytheist, and they're bringing their friends Malice with them. So we're going to be hanging out with two bands doing a ton of interviewing, playing even more music. That's going to be a good time, so you can always come out to Fisted Spirit Keys Tuesday nights, 8 p.m. in Elmhurst. We usually go about uh, till 10.30 or 11, and just hanging out, drinking, eating some food, watching some sports, talking metal. Eating way too much food. So it's always a good time. Come join us, and then keep a lookout for us at the upcoming shows that we have on our Metal Experience Facebook page. We have all the events that we're going to be going to linked on that page. So check that out and make sure that you... And and then yeah. also check out Torture Gore Grinder. Yes. The unsigned band pick of the week all the way from Bangladesh. Awesome. Nice. Well, thank you so much, guys, for coming out. We've got one more track to play from you guys. What is that called? And before we do yes. that, any shout-outs or anything? Shout-out to all the... Lo- uh, Awesome local Chicago bands. Opacia, The Premacy, Bloodletter, um, Warforged, Roman Ring. Uh, I mean, there's so many, so many good local bands. You guys are all awesome. Lots of people are listening, including us. Uh, we hope to see you guys out there soon. Get some shows. Killing it. Yeah. 2017. It, yeah. Um, <laughs> ep- epitasis. Epitasis. What are you talking about? I don't know. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Just good, good local bands. Metals. Shout out to them. Well, very sweet, and we want to thank you guys again for coming out. And what's the uh, the last track we're going to be playing going out? Absent Streets of Gold. Absent Streets of Gold, and that's off the Discipline CD. Um, Mm, so good. Morgan, you burned me a CD yet? Um, I have no CDs here, but on the CD that you sent me, it says No Streets of Gold. Did you change the name of it? Uh, That's from our Dropbox. It yeah. Has, ah, some okay. wor- has some working titles. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Working titles. Cool. Well, this is the last track off the Discipline album. We hope you enjoyed listening, and be sure to download your copy of it.
Now 